All right, Coach, first couple days in pads here, first week kind of out here, kind of where you assess the team from where they were at the end of spring to kind of where they are here at the start of fall practice? I think over the summer, I'm really impressed by some of the improvement that some of the guys have made, and I'm excited about where we are right now. We're, we're further down the road uh, as far as just schematically and knowing what to do, and we're rolling so many offensive linemen and things like that. Um, you know, obviously, they had more defensive guys coming back, and, and so it should be a little bit further along on that side of the ball. But I, I'm, I'm happy with where the offense is right now and, and being able to get out and really operate the way we are right now. And, uh, you know, we just got to continue to um, get better and better uh, but as far as what we do, I mean, it's it's coming along. Now, the last couple of years, uh, injury bug on offense at key positions, quarterback, running back has kind of bitten you guys a little bit late in the season. Kind of a, a stable of guys at that position this year, and that's kind of, I think, what you wanted. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> you know, I got tired of looking over there, and there was one or two guys that, you know, were rolling out there on Saturday. So we've got a good, uh, good stable of backs, and we've got a good stable of quarterbacks, and, you know, the key is to keep them all obviously upright and practicing every day and all that. But uh, and then we're being, being able to roll uh, quite a bit with the uh, receivers on the outside and the and the offensive line. And so, yeah, we're we're planning uh, for um, a, a time when when we're going to need this kind of depth. And that was our biggest biggest key, I think, in recruiting was the, let's build depth uh, at some key positions. Now you got a lot of guys back on, on defense, but a lot of younger guys, not necessarily a lot of seniors. Who are some guys that maybe have kind of stepped up to, to take that leadership role well, this season on defense? Yeah, well, it's good to have, um, you know, obviously Mark Williams. Uh, you know, Mark played well for us last year, but he's still young. And, uh, you know, Dietarius Johnson uh, is coming back off a year where he actually wasn't the starter, but he played a ton. Uh, you know, some of the, we 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 uh, got some uh, some of the young defensive ends are, are coming along. Uh, we moved Tiger Woods from from a defensive tackle spot to an end. He really was always an end. Uh, but um, and then you know in the back end, you know Ray Crittenden, guys, a uh, guy like Jordan Johnson, he's coming coming uh, in a hurry, really getting much much better. And so really excited about some of the progress that that really all the positions have made. Uh, with some of the young guys getting better and better. Now for you guys, season opens at Arkansas going to be a little bit. Of, it's going to be a homecoming for you. You played there, but also homecoming for a number of guys on the mm -hmm. team. You got a lot of kids that are from Arkansas. Yeah. That's going to mean a lot for for all of you guys. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. We've talked about it. You know, they're they're excited about going home and and playing in front of the home state people. So we got two true freshmen. You know, that are from there. But uh, you know, guys like Isaiah Gully and and uh, uh, Cornelius Page and and even uh, uh, McCoy. You know, McCoy has really, he might he might be the most improved guy uh, on the football team this year. He's hes long and he plays that inside receiver spot for us and and uh, has really come back in shape and ready to go. And, and so we're excited about the things that he's doing. And so our Arkansas kids are going to be, uh, they're, they're gonna have some, you know, they're gonna have a great time going back into Fayetteville.